Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm from the Pretty Sweaty Stuff Yoga. So we'll start in a nice, comfortable seated position, sitting really nice and tall, closing down the eyes, and just really focusing on that internal gaze. And just notice how it feels to simply do nothing. To just sit here, to breathe, and to tap into whatever it is that your breath is telling you. So we're really using this time to get out of your usual busy routine, getting out of that hustle and bustle of what we call life, whether that's through work, through being a parent, whatever it is. How does it feel for you today to simply just do nothing right now? Is it a little bit easier for you today? Or is it a little bit harder? Are you feeling a little bit distracted? So we'll take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Making sure you can keep this new breath throughout. Begin to interlace your fingers behind you. You can straighten the arms out if that feels okay. We'll bring the head towards the right shoulder. Nice gentle neck stretch. You can always roll the head forwards and backwards if that feels okay. Slowly come through center and we'll come for the other side, bringing the head towards the left shoulder and again maybe rolling forwards and backwards. Just searching for any nice sensation. Coming back through center. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, bring your right fingertips between the shoulder blades. Maybe using the head to push the elbow back. You can stay here if you like. Left hand can come top of the right elbow. And again, use the head to push the elbow back. If you're a little bit more open today, maybe you like to reach your left arm around your lower back and then grab onto the right fingertips. Feel free to place a strap or a t-shirt between the hands to make the arms feel longer as well. Slowly release, other side. Inhale, float your left arm up. Exhale, bend into that elbow, fingertips between the shoulder blades. Maybe staying here, if you like, right hand on top of the left elbow, using the head to push the elbow back. If you're a little bit more open this side, maybe you like to reach your right arm around your back and grab onto the left fingertips. Keeping an eye on the ribs and the belly. So make sure everything is drawn in towards the spine and down. Whenever you're ready, slowly release, coming for eagle arms. So we'll start with the right arm underneath the left. So bring the elbows together, single wrap, double wrap, or give yourself a hug. So think about pulling the elbows away from you to spread the shoulder blades apart. That's the action we're going for. If you've got a little bit more space, maybe you like to lift the elbows up a little bit higher. Draw the belly in and then bring your elbow towards your belly, so crunching in. Inhale, release. And as you exhale, crunch everything back in, chin to chest. One last time, inhale, release. And as you exhale, crunch, bringing the elbow towards the belly button. And then slowly release. Other side, wrapping the left arm underneath the right, single wrap, double wrap, or give yourself a hug. Can you create a little bit more space between the shoulder blades here? Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, crunch, elbow to belly button. Inhale, release. Keep the ribs nipped in, and as you exhale, crunch, elbow to belly button. One last time, nice and slow. Inhale, release. And as you exhale, crunch it back in, nice tight ball and then slowly release. 
bringing your left fingertips to the outside of your left hip. Inhale, float your right arm up. Exhale, gently side bend over towards the left. Maybe lowering down to the left hand. If you've got a little bit more space today, you can always go down to the forearm. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the other side. Reaching over towards the right. Maybe shifting the gaze underneath that left armpit. And then inhale, lift. Exhaling, coming to your hands and knees, tabletop position. Shoulder stacks on top of the wrists, spreading the fingers nice and wide, grounding through the knuckles and the inner palms. Toes tucked or untucked, up to you. Inhale, float your left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath the right armpit. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, thread. One last time, inhale, lift the left arm towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, thread it right underneath, allowing the left shoulder to hit the ground. Maybe keeping the right elbow bent. Or if you like, you can try reaching it out in front of you. Or maybe walk it towards the left. You can always wrap it around your lower back as well for a half bind. Keep checking in with the hips, making sure they're nice and squared. Drawing the belly in and breathe. Coming back to all fours. Inhale, float your right arm up. And as you exhale, thread your right arm underneath the left armpit. And again, inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, thread. One last time. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Keep pulling back on that left hip. And as you exhale, thread it right under, allowing the shoulder to find the ground. Again, maybe keeping that left elbow bent. Reach it out in front of you or maybe walk it towards the right. If you're feeling up to it, you can always find a half bind. Left arm reaches around your lower back. Just try to find a bit of comfort here. Breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Whenever you're ready, come in all the way back up. Bring the seat to the heels for your child's pose. Reaching the arms out in front of you, turn the palms of the hands towards the ceiling. Keep reaching the fingertips forwards. Can you find a little bit more space between the ears and the shoulders? And can you ground the back of the hand into the mat a little bit more? Whenever you're ready, meeting back in your tabletop. Stepping your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Maybe scoot your left knee behind you a little bit more. Lizard lunge. Checking that the front knee is pointing in the same direction as the toes. If you've got a little bit more space today, maybe you like to lower down to your forearms. And if the floor seems far away from you, you can always pop the hands and the forearms up with a couple of cushions or a block. Just looking for a nice sensation along the front of that left leg. And if you like to add anything on here, maybe a gentle twist, you can grab onto that back ankle or the foot, whatever you feel you need today. Whenever you're ready, come to pivot yourself towards the left, so the long side of the mat. Bring the seat to the ground as you tuck your right foot in towards the inner left thigh. Interlace your fingers behind the head, nice open chest, and just gently side bend over towards that left leg, finding a nice stretch along the right side and a crunch along the left. If it doesn't feel good to look underneath that right armpit, you can always shift the gaze towards the floor. You can always just bring the fists together to keep the chest open. Or if you're feeling nice and open today, you can always just sweep that right arm up and over. Remembering to keep the chest nice and open. Lifting all the way up and then come to face that left foot. Keeping a nice long spine, maybe you wanna stay tall. If you'd like, you can always begin to fold forwards. Remember to keep that left knee bent if you've got tight hamstring. And you can always sit on the very edge of a cushion or a block to make it a little bit softer in the knees and the hips. 
slowly lifting up, placing your left hand on top of the right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, create length, exhale, gentle twist. Whenever you're ready, slowly ease your way out. We'll come back to a hands and knees tabletop position. Other side. Stepping your left foot to the outside of your left hand and maybe scoot your right knee behind you a little bit more. Coming back to that lizard lunge. And see how you are this side. Maybe you're a little bit more open. Maybe you're a little bit more tight here. Just take it nice and easy. It might not look the same as the other side. Again, don't be afraid to use props. You can always hit pause as well if you need a little bit longer in this pose. Maybe staying where you are. If you want to add anything on, maybe a gentle twist. Grab onto the back ankle or the foot. Whatever you feel you need. Slowly ease your way out of this as we bring your right leg long to the outside of the hip and then tuck that left foot in. Scoop the belly in and sit nice and tall. Interlace your fingers behind the head and just gently side bend over towards that right foot. Keeping the chest nice and open. If it feels uncomfortable on the neck, you can always shift the gaze towards the floor. Maybe try bringing the fists together. Or if you're a little bit more open today, you can sweep the left arm up and over. Again, think about where can you create a little bit more space rather than closing the body off. Slowly come all the way up. Come to face that right foot. Sit nice and tall. So again, if you've got tight hamstrings, you can bend into the knee. So maybe stay nice and tall. If you'd like, you can always begin to gently fold forwards. And you can always make this a little bit more comfy by sitting on the edge of a couple of cushions or a block. So we're just looking for a nice sensation along the back of that right leg. Remembering to breathe and not to force anything here. And we'll come all the way back up. Placing your right hand on top of the left knee, left fingertips behind you. Inhale, create length. Exhale, gentle twist. Just making sure you're keeping the belly drawn in. Come back through centre and let's bring the soles of the feet together. So again, maybe you like to sit on the edge of a couple of cushions or a block. Nice and easy going for the hips and the knees. You can stay tall, really press the feet together, or if it feels okay, you can begin to fold forwards, relaxing in here. Keeping a bit of activation, so making sure that you're really pressing the feet together. And just breathe here. Notice what's going on in the hips or anywhere else here. Whenever you're ready, slowly come all the way back up. Coming into pigeon here, so bring your right shin in front of you and then swing your left leg long behind you, making sure that's behind that left hip. And see if you can bring that right shin forwards as comfortably as you can, making sure that there's no knee pain if there are, you can always bring your left foot forwards and then just cross your right ankle on top of the thigh. You can always come for the reclined version by lying on the back. So do whatever feels good for you. Remember, we're trying to make the body feel good here and at ease. And again, don't be afraid to prop your right hip up with a couple of cushions or a block. You can stay tall. If you've got the space today, maybe you'd like to fold forwards. Remember that there's no goal here. We're just looking for a nice sensation on the outer right hip. Is your breath still nice and soft here? Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. 
Just making sure you're not straining here. Whenever you're ready, slowly lift all the way up. We'll come to the other side. Take whatever transitions you need to before you settle into the left hip. Remembering both sides different. So if it doesn't feel good, you can bring your right foot forwards, then cross your left ankle on top of the right thigh. Or you can always come to lie back for the reclined version. Again, be in a place where you can just find softness. A place where you can breathe real easy here. Maybe placing, again, a couple of cushions underneath that left hip or block. Or even under the head. Sometimes it's these moments of stillness that's the most difficult for some of us. We don't have the fast pace of moving here. And sometimes when we're just still, thoughts can creep back in. But just keep focusing on the breath. Again, if you need a little bit more time, just hit pause. Otherwise, we'll slowly come to lie on our backs. Hugging the knees in as you gently rock side to side. Gently massaging into the lower back. Keep the lower back grounded as you separate the feet and the knees wider than hip width distance apart. You can stay here if you like. Grab on to wherever you can along the legs, the ankles, or the outside of the feet, sending the soles towards the ceiling. Happy baby. Trying to see if you can get the knees towards the outside of you if that feels okay. Remember, it's not the goal. So wherever you can feel the sensation. When you're ready to hug the knees back in, gently rock side to side. And then just gently guide the knees over towards the left. And if it feels okay, you can always allow the arms to fall open. Maybe turning the head towards the right. Or keep it facing towards the ceiling. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And if this feels a little bit awkward on the lower back, you can always pop the knees up with a couple of cushions or a block. Just finding ease here. Whenever you're ready, come back through centre and then we'll come for the other side. Releasing the knees towards the right. And again, if it feels okay, maybe allow the arms to fall open. Maybe turning the head towards the left. Beginning to let go of everything here. Come back through center, hug the knees in, gently rocking side to side. So take a big inhale through the nose, fill up the lungs. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Whenever you're ready, release the legs out in front of you, arms by your sides. Palm faces up, eyes closed, final pose. And you can stay here as long as you need to. 
Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. With love and gratitude. Namaste.